Do you struggle to move stubborn pigs on your farm? Our experienced farmers have developed easy, effective methods to move pigs in every situation. These are their secrets. In this video, we're going to share our farmers' best advice for simple, stress-free pig moves in all seasons. Whether you're receiving your first batch of piglets, introducing your pigs to pasture, or moving them into a new paddock, these tips, tricks, and techniques will have your pigs trained in no time. Stay tuned until the end of this video to see our two foolproof methods for paddock moves. If you raise pigs on pasture, you probably move them a lot. Rotational grazing requires frequent paddock moves that can be stressful and exhausting for you and your pigs. These habitual hikes are necessary, but they don't have to be hard. Pigs are intelligent animals with great memories, so they can be trained to complete simple tasks like following a leader from one place to another. With the right training, your pigs can learn to move themselves, which makes them a great enterprise for small-scale farms. Establishing a pattern of quick and easy moves starts early, the day your piglets arrive on your farm. Here's how to start your pigs on the right foot. When you receive a delivery of piglets, They'll likely arrive on a livestock trailer after a long and exhausting journey. They're in a new space with new handlers, so it's important to maintain a low stress environment. Here's how to move the pigs from the trailer to the receiving shelter as calmly as possible. Before your pigs arrive, create a temporary alley with a ramp to unload the pigs from the trailer. Pro tip, use recycled materials for a quick and affordable setup or build a reusable multi-purpose ramp like this one which we use to move a variety of livestock species on our farm. We've covered our ramp with outdoor carpet and wooden cleats to create traction and prevent our animals from slipping. We use hog panels and recycled plywood to construct a short alley leading into the receiving shelter. The sides of the alley should create a solid barrier so the pigs can only move forward rather than left or right. We position the ramp at the end of the alley where the delivery trailer will pull up as close as possible for unloading. The top edge of the ramp should align closely with the trailer floor so the little pigs don't have to jump from the trailer floor to the ground. When your trailer arrives, park as close as possible and start unloading your new piglets with these tips. The easiest way to unload a trailer full of pigs is to take them off in smaller groups of 15 to 20. The first group will be the most difficult to move, but they will set the example for each group that follows. Our trailer has handy dividing doors, which allows us to easily release one small group at a time. If your trailer doesn't have this feature, don't worry, you can use a livestock handling aid called a blind board or sorting board to herd the pigs in a low stress way. Placing the board in front of your legs, you can gently nudge the pigs forward. Using the blind board as a barrier prevents the pigs from running to the back of the trailer, so they can only move toward the trailer's exit. Remember to stay calm and welcome your new piglets with patience. When they reach the edge, they may be hesitant to leave the trailer and enter the unfamiliar new receiving area. Gentle herding with a sorting board will encourage the pigs to make the transition, and once a few brave piglets have made their exit, the rest will follow. After that, each small group will be easier to move until you've got an empty trailer, a full barn, and a new batch of piglets to train. The first week of your piglet's stay at your farm is crucial for training your new pigs to respect the boundaries of their enclosures. On pasture, we use electric polywire to build pathways for moving pigs and paddocks to keep them contained. The sooner our pigs learn to avoid that electric fence, the easier it is to move them. If your pigs are like ours, they'll be extremely curious from the moment they arrive on your farm. Our receiving barn includes permanent corral piping and hog panels, but we also line the perimeter of the barn with temporary electric wire because that's the primary form of fencing we use to move our pigs for rotational grazing. We use poly posts to set up two wires. One sits at the piglet's eye line while standing, so it's easy for them to see. The other sits slightly lower at the piglet's eye line while bent over and digging with their snouts. As the piglets explore and test the boundaries of their new enclosure, they'll interact with the electric wire and learn to avoid it within five or six days. Stock up on poly posts, electric wire, and solar chargers for your pig's rotational grazing setup. Streamline your chores with farming essentials and innovative technology from Gallagher Animal Management. Use coupon code HEIFERUSA for a 10% discount on your entire order. When you're confident that the pigs are accustomed to the electric wire, you can give them access to pasture for the first time. First, use electric wire and poly posts to create a paddock that adjoins with your receiving shelter. Test that the poly wire perimeter is charged to at least 5 kilovolts. Then, prop open your gate and place feeders in the new paddock. 
we set small, lightweight wooden troughs just outside the gate and fill them with grassroots swine grower, a non-GMO feed from our farmers cooperative. Soon, your pigs will venture out onto pasture and find food which creates a positive association with moving. If this first move is easy, rewarding, and stress-free, your pigs will learn that good things wait when you open the gate. Once your pigs have left the receiving shelter to live on pasture full-time, you'll need to move them every seven to 10 days so the pigs have access to fresh forage and the land can grow more resilient from their impact. These four basic rules will help you choose the perfect time to move your pigs. Schedule pig moves during mild weather to ensure a calm, safe environment for the journey. Avoid extreme heat in the summer by moving pigs near sunrise or just after sunset. Avoid extreme cold in the winter by moving pigs at midday. Never move your pigs during inclement weather like sleet, snow, or heavy rain. This experience could be stressful, distracting, and unsafe for you and your animals. With the right conditions, these moves can be effortless, enriching experiences for your animals, especially if you embrace the pig's natural curiosity as a tool for training. Check out these four easy and effective techniques that our experienced farmers use for quick, simple pig moves here at Heifer USA. Need to move your pigs a long distance? Here's the easiest method ever. Create an alley to guide your pigs and keep them on track. Set up a 15-foot wide temporary alley using poly wire, poly posts, and solar chargers. All the supplies you need are linked in the description of this video. The pathway should run from your starting location to your destination, maybe a corral or a new paddock for grazing. Be sure to secure the corners with alligator clips and test that your electric wire is charged to at least five kilovolts. With the gate open, call the pigs from a distance and lead them down the temporary alley. If your pigs travel the same routes regularly, you could install a permanent alley way for even faster moves. Instead of using poly wire, build your alley with barbed wire and spare posts. Another great opportunity to reuse old materials to solve current problems on your farm. Whatever alley you choose, the key to successful pig moves is low stress animal handling. Animals that experience low stress levels throughout their lives yield high quality, nutrient dense, and undeniably delicious protein. That's why our pork products are worth premium prices, and yours can be too. Grow delicious, nutritious, and profitable pork products by implementing low stress handling methods. Here are three must-have tools that will help you gently and effectively herd your pigs. These red boards are a lightweight tool that serves multiple purposes for moving livestock. You can wave them to direct the pigs toward their destination. You can use them to block pigs from moving in the opposite direction or leaving the group. When you move pigs into and through a corral, these boards are perfect for sorting your animals in a gentle way. If you're raising pastured pigs without a set of sorting boards, you're making your own life harder. Grab your own at the link in the description of this video. This rattle paddle is a long stick with noisy beads inside. When you shake the paddle, this rattling noise surprises the pigs and they run away from the source of the sound. These are linked for you too. If you don't have a rattle paddle, here's a quick alternative you can make at home. Fill an aluminum water bottle with beads or BBs. Screw the lid on tightly and shake. Rattle devices work most effectively when your pigs can only travel in two directions, forward or backward, out on pasture, the rattle sound could make the pigs scatter in all directions, so it's best to save this tool for small spaces like alleyways and corrals. For many farmers, the most valuable livestock handling aid is actually another person. Herding pigs can be tricky, so it's good to have multiple people available to help, especially for your first few moves with each batch of pigs. Attempting to herd a single pig is tricky and frustrating, so the best approach is to keep the pigs together. With your leader walking ahead of the herd and calling the pigs, have your helpers follow behind the group, using sorting boards to make sure no pigs are lost or left behind. If any rebellious pigs wander off, leave the herd where they are and focus on returning the runaway pig to the group. This is another time your helpers will come in handy. Most farmers won't tell you that the secret to easy livestock management is sitting around, but that's exactly what we recommend. Taking time to bond with your animals is crucial, no matter what species you raise. Gaining the trust of your pigs is as simple as sitting around in their paddock. Regular visits to your pigs will help them recognize the voices of their caretakers and the sounds of your vehicles and equipment. We've got even more tips for building trust with your pigs in this video. Once your pigs recognize your voice, start paddock moves by calling them. It could sound like this. Come on, pigs! 
or this, or even this. Hey, piggy, 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 pig, pig, come here, come here. After a few moves, your pigs will learn the routine and begin moving themselves as soon as you open the gate. At that point, you may be able to move them by yourself or without the use of handling aids. Here's our favorite farm hack for setting up a pastured pig operation. Turn your permanent pastures into smaller temporary paddocks using polywire, poly posts, and solar chargers. We recommend a stocking rate of 50 pigs per half acre. So for a batch of 50 pigs, a two acre pasture turns into four paddocks, meaning four weeks of fresh forage for your livestock and even well-distributed animal impact on your land. Another bonus is that these paddocks are all back to back, making weekly moves super simple and easy. Here are two methods our farmers recommend for moving your pigs from paddock to paddock. If your paddocks are close together like ours, you can move pigs gradually over the course of a day or two with a few short steps. Gradual moves are the most time efficient method, so we recommend them for busy farmers, part-time farmers, or those who just like to be efficient. Simply open a gate or section of fencing where your pigs can cross from the old paddock into the new one at their own pace. Remember that pigs are curious and food motivated, so moving feeders and waterers into the new paddock will give them incentive to explore the new area. A gradual move gives your pigs ample time to adjust to their new surroundings, so it works especially well for training young pigs on the first few moves. Once all your pigs have left the old paddock, close the gate and start celebrating that effortless paddock move. What if you need to move your pigs fast? Maybe thunderstorms are approaching and you need to get your pigs into the new paddock before the old one turns into a muddy mess. Maybe you're taking the next day off to relax or more realistically, tackle other chores on the farm. Immediate moves let you clear your used paddock and secure your pigs in their new area in as little as 30 minutes. During that time, you'll move feeders, waterers, shelters, fencing, and your pigs. If that sounds overwhelming, don't worry. Our experienced regenerative farmers have developed an easy to follow procedure for paddock to paddock moves, which we use to train other members of our cooperative with clear instructions and detailed demonstrations of infrastructure, equipment, and handling techniques. We'll turn a major source of stress for farmers into a set of simple, approachable steps to success. Check out the step-by-step -step tutorial here, or keep learning our favorite farm hacks for raising pastured pigs with this video.